morning, Andy fam. It's like 6.45. Daniel left for work around like 4 o'clock. And I'm so, so tired. I'm going to take out the dog right now for a walk. I'm going to hurry up and work out because I have to... I have to be in a business meeting at 8.30 and I still have to work out for 45 minutes and we didn't do our morning workout because you don't have to leave so early and I don't want to fall behind. Now that I'm a little more awake, let's actually like catch up. Okay, so it is 7.51. I just finished my indoor workout. I decided to do a do the, the bike and oh my gosh, I was not paying attention because I was still half asleep and I wasn't wearing shoes and I literally slipped forward on the bike and I for sure thought I was gonna like fall off face first and like crack my chin or something. Like it was really, it was really scary. And I like cut my leg, let me show you. I don't know if you can see, but I have like a bruise and then there's like a whole scratch like right here. And that happened like literally within like five minutes of me starting the bike, so that was cool. <laughs> But um, I'm glad it didn't start bleeding. I was like kind of concerned that it was gonna like start dripping down my leg, but thankfully not. <laughs> and then I just didn't want to even like second guess it because I was like so tired and I really needed to get this done that I just hopped on the bike, didn't even have time to fill my water and I was so hot the whole time. But the minute I got off the bike, I filled my water because it's already 7.53, I need to get on it with my water. Usually we're getting up at 4.45 and I didn't get up till 6.45 today. Did not do my first workout till seven o'clock. So I need to get to it. And also I am so, so thirsty. Not only am I like thirsty because I just worked out, but I've noticed since we're drinking a gallon of water a day and I'm not drinking water, I'm like so thirsty. Like, I feel like I'm, like, dehydrated, even though I'm clearly not because I'm constantly drinking water. But, yeah. So, I know I mentioned earlier in my first clip that I have a business meeting at 8.30. Thankfully, it's on Zoom, so I don't have to leave. So, that buys me a little bit more time this morning. I want to take a shower, but I just kind of feel like... I just feel like there's not enough time. It's already almost 8 o'clock. And I like, I know it's kind of gross, but I think I'm going to shower right after my Zoom meeting because like I said, like it's not in person. So I think right now I'm going to just drink my water and read my 10 pages so I do not fall behind. I think Daniel's actually getting off at like 8.30 this morning because he went in at like 5 this morning. I think he's doing like a half day. And then I think he needs to take the dog to the vet. Not our dog, but um, Daniel's mom's dog. So... He should be getting home or getting off around the time that my meeting's going in. And my meeting goes till about 10 o'clock, so... I don't know. I don't know what the rest of the day has in store for us. So that's why I'm just really trying to stay on track so I do not fall behind. I haven't even eaten yet, but... It's all gonna work out. So I'm gonna read my pages and I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, I just got out of my business meeting and Daniel got home while I was in the middle of it. So I had him grab my water. And so I was sipping on my water the whole time I was in my meeting because like I said, we are not falling behind. Now it is time to eat. I am so, so hungry. It is, it's already 10 one and I have not eaten today. So I'm going to try to make my yogurt, but if I remember correctly, there is not a lot left. So let's see if we can get a full serving out of this. If not, hopefully I can at least get a half so it's easy to track. But I have... Ew, it looks like so watery when you don't mix it up. That's disgusting. Yeah, this is not. This does not look like a lot at all. I don't I don't think there's any way I can get a full serving, but I'm just gonna see what I can do. So full serving is 170 grams. This does not look like anywhere near. Okay, what is half? What is half of 170? Okay, so half of 170 is 85. So I think I'm just gonna shoot for a half a serving let's see let's hope that there's at least 85 in here so far though we're at 51 and we're almost out Ooh, okay 66 come on 82 85 87 i almost just feel like i need to eat all of this because if I just leave a little bit, that's not going to make sense. 
But honestly, yeah, what the heck? I'm able to get 100. So far, I'm at 121. I'm so close. Uh, how the heck do you track this if it's not a half? I'm at 130. And then, you know we have to add the granola. It is just so yummy. Like, I have not gotten tired of this yet. All right. And then, you know I've been loving my strawberries, so I'm going to cut up two strawberries, and it's time to eat. If you've been following our journey for the past 13 days, by the way, I did not even say that. Happy day 13. I can't believe it. But if you've been following our journey, you would have already seen this. It's literally just honey, almond, granola, some vanilla, protein yogurt, and woo, and some strawberries. So I'm going to go eat this and track it, and I will catch up with you when Daniel gets back home. <laughs> what up y'all i just got done at the gym i'm in the bathroom being a weirdo but look at this palm bro they're wrecked and uh go eat some food now i'm pretty behind on my food today it looks like we're on the same mode we both said we we're going to talk to you guys when we got together and i'm home now and i never left <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good gym session and now it's time to make some breakfast um what are you thinking should i do corned beef hashed potatoes or should i we have bacon in there too though but i know we need to eat the corned beef i was gonna beef. say maybe corned beef just so it doesn't go bad yeah so I think I might make some fried potatoes with corned beef and some eggs and maybe even some cheese if we're lucky. Yeah, that actually sounds really good. If even we, though I just ate. I literally, in my last cup, I was literally <laughs> eating. But like... I mean, if we make it right, it'll be good on calories <coughs> and high in protein. Like every single thing I just said has protein in it. Potatoes, very little, but still. And just add some. They make things taste good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, we will keep you updated. I actually have to bring a dog to the vet in like an hour, so I'm gonna have to leave again, but I'll be back. Okay, how is it? Oh, it's it's way better than last time I made it. Last time I made it, I did like a thicker, like fried potato, but this time I did like a country potato, but like a really, like little cubes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's good. I wanna try it too. Yeah, I wanna yeah. see what you think. You gotta get a little of everything though. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love it. It tastes so good and that little crunch from the potato. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Let me I'm gonna go over the calories with you real quick on this meal and let you know what's in it. So I did we go in I did three ounces of corned beef each, so total I cooked everything together and we're splitting it. So we each got three ounces, I did six total. And then a red potato, we just did one and did half of it each. Eggs, we did three eggs each. So that's three eggs for me, three eggs for her, so six total. And cheese, we did four ounces, so two for her, two for me. And that came to 744 calories with 48 grams of protein, 21 carb, and 50 fat. So it is a high fat like meal, so make sure you just watch your calories or eat it on a low carb day if you have those. That's it. I'm juiced because after this meal, I'm already at 70 grams of protein. So yeah. I'm, and I'm actually enjoying this. Remember day one, I was throwing up all over the place. But here we are, day 13. We got this. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? I just got home doing my deed of taking the dog to the vet. He was a good boy. We got it handled. But we're in a pickle now. Also, this is his second time taking the dog to the vet today. Yeah. And it's almost nine o'clock at night. Exactly. <laughs> I still have to finish my water. I still have to eat another meal. I still have to read. Basically do everything. <laughs> so, and we're about to go on our second workout at nine at night. But just keep in mind, it's about like, I'm. we're still living life. I still have things I need to do. And it's about just doing it anyway and not letting that voice tell you, oh, it's okay, just don't do it. No, it still needs to get done. And thankfully, I mean, 
as you know, we go on our walks in the dark in the morning, but thankfully it's lighter at night, so it's not completely dark yet. <laughs> yeah, so we just wanted to update you guys that even when it gets hard, even when you're running behind, just still get it done. Mm -hmm. It's gonna suck, but it is what it is. And you're gonna feel better when you do get it done. You're 100%. gonna be stressful in the moment. You're gonna be happy that you didn't let yourself down. I agree. Anyway, that concludes day 12? Day 13. Day 13, oh. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow for day 14, guys. Later.